Good morning, Angela Ackerman, Independent Sensi Consultant. I just wanted to finish up my, uh, what I've been warming. It's September 2nd. Um, I actually wanted to do this video a couple of days ago, but I just didn't get to it. So this is, I'm finishing up what I warmed for the second half of August. Um, and actually I'm going to start off with a couple of non-wax items. So first I went through the Hibiscus Pineapple Body Cream. I really like the body cream um, through Scentsy. It's, uh, it doesn't, it's not overly greasy, it soaks in well. And, uh, and the Hibiscus Pineapple was a nice scent, but I am looking forward to some different scents, uh, especially fall scents. So um, in my next club order, I actually put in a few uh, body creams, different ones to try. Uh, we also went through, my husband and my son went through a Misty, Mystery Man body wash. They are, they do like that. And they like the man scents, which gives them something nice other than my, you know, lady scents in the shower. Okay. On to wax. Um, I was in the mood for citrus and summery and uh, so I did warm a Bee Fabulous, which is just, it's always great. That's actually currently what's in my warmer today and I actually need to change out my wax. But it's just such a good citrusy scent and um, just makes you feel good. I, I love citrus scents. But the, um, here in Nevada, we have a lot of fires. Uh, I'm in Northern Nevada. We have a lot of fires going. And so our traditional summer with lots of blue sky has not been occurring. Um, we've actually just had a lot of smoke in this, in the air this year. So, um, I, I, you know, not that I can compare living in Washington or Oregon on the coast, but having these dreary days where we just, I mean, we've had so much smoke this year um, that it's just kind of a downer. So it was really nice to do a pick me up with that be fabulous. I uh, warmed graham cracker crunch. This one is great. It, um, it had when in the description it's, it says it's like graham cracker and peanut butter and I was a little worried about the peanut butter part of it but it just it was it just smelled so good and uh, I'll actually be ordering more of this one for sure uh, we did a blue grotto again another citrus scent <laughs> <laughs> to try to brighten up the the last few days of summer without our blue skies. Oh, that I did is a mix. I know it. I just got to figure out which one I mixed it with. Um, I did pomegranate pr prosecco. Uh, this one is weird. This one, okay, so this one is part of the uh, new releases for the fall catalog, and it's. It's weird for me because it smells wonderful, by the way, but it's supposed to be like, you know, Prosecco, like a drink, right? Bubbly drink. Well, you can almost smell the bubbles, which is, it just is weird to me. Every time I smell it, it's weird to me. <laughs> um, I melted eucalyptus wreath. Now this one, I thought this one was going to be a favorite of mine, but in the end I have to, um, I, I probably won't repurchase. It's a nice scent, um, but as I, you know, but it, it almost just reminds me of like Irish spring soap. So, I mean, it's not quite exactly like Irish spring soap, but it's enough so that that's what I smell when it's melting and I don't really want my house smelling like Irish Spring soap. So for me, that one's not going to be a, another purchase. Oh, here's my mix. Okay. So I did, um, a Johnny apple seed with apple butter frosting. So 
I absolutely love Johnny Appleseed. If you like uh, apple scents, Johnny Appleseed is, is definitely a, a good one. But, and I love the apple butter frosting. But I wanted just a little bit more apple in the apple butter frosting. So, and I was trying to get rid of, I had like partial bars, so I was trying to get rid of both of them anyway. Uh, so I mixed these two together. It was okay. Um, unfortunately, because Johnny Appleseed is such a powerhouse, it overpowered <laughs> the, um, the apple butter frosting. So it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So, um, but that's okay. It was still, it was still good. It would still smelled good and it got rid of, you know, some half empty bars. All right. I did a Plumeria peach. Again, I just wanted, you know, this one, this one is a really good fruity scent. Very peachy. It's got a little hint that Plumeria, um, it's a little bit of, of floral, but not overpowering. I'm not a floral person and I absolutely love this. This one is actually in my club and I'm so grateful for that because I do love the peach scent of it. But this was another, uh, I need to, to have some brightening days with all the smoke. Okay, and then I did two fall scents to finish it off. Um, we did apple and cinnamon sticks. Now this one for me was, it was just okay. Um, there's something in it, I don't know if it's the undertones or whatnot, but like normally, I, I mean, I'm, I like cinnamon and I like apple. But there's something in it that almost smells, um, I don't know if the word, I don't know if it'd be bitter, but there was something in it that just didn't, I, it just wasn't for me. I, I, I thought I was really going to like this one, but this one, it, was, it just wasn't for me. So I probably will not repurchase this one for myself. Um, or maybe I'll try and mix it because I think I needed just a little bit more sweet with it. So maybe I'll try and mix it with like a, um, sugar cookie or vanilla buttercream or the apple butter frosting or something like that to kind of give it a little bit of a sweet hint. And then finally, I have to say, this is going to be a favorite. I did melt uh, scary good. So scary good is the scent of the month for the month of September. It is a pumpkin scent, but the, the, the title definitely does not say that. Um, what I smell when I melt it is pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. <laughs> um, and I, I look forward to my pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks every year. Um, I actually, I don't think I even had one last year because of COVID, but, um, but I... The, so there is like after it's melted for a while it does there is something on the back end and maybe it's the spices that makes it smell like a little weird um but when i initially burned this one i absolutely love it i do love just the pumpkin and the spices and the um it just reminds this one reminds me of fall very much so so, uh, I'm, and I'm going to be making samples, um, today actually, and, uh, getting some of those samples mailed out. So if you are uh, watching and are not a consultant or don't have a consultant <laughs> and you would like a sample, uh, just comment below and I'll send you one. Um, I'll send you some information and, and get your mailing address and, and I'll send you a, a sample if you would like one. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. So on what I've been warming and uh, my next video will be what I, my warming basket for the month of September. All right, guys, have a good day.